Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we do something really simple. It's going to be a really small episode about making a really awful splash screen, as you can tell, and also modifying the last piece of 2D art, which is the uh, the war table art. And then once we're done with that, we're going to start installing Blender and move on to actually doing this scene. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we're looking at changing this menu over here and also adding some kind of um, splash screen. So we'll add back into our UI Atlas, which is right here. You're going to open it up and then we'll modify a few things in here. So um, let's look at this first. This is a rectangle shape. It is on the vertical side. So we can be using, say, this part down here or this part down here. Now. We need four icons, we need four of them, but we, I think we can only use one of them and we'll just change the color of it a little bit. So um, here is what I'm planning to do, so, something really simple. I'll create a new uh, rounded rectangle, go down here, then just drag like this, modify the size a little bit, and what I already have right now looks, looks good enough for this, I think. So let me just move that a little bit, like so. And then I'll hit apply. Now with this shape, I can control the fill at the very top left over here. So I'll just go take that, reduce the opacity to something like say 75 for the first point, and maybe like 25 for the second point. Now something like that would actually do the job just fine for what I want. However, we're going to be changing the color of it a little bit. So I'll just make sure that both of them are on uh, white. So let me go back here and actually just change the color of it. So where is the color exactly? I think it is down there. Color stop. Now color stop, I need to change this for white so I'm going to double click on it. And here we go. Same thing for this one. We should now have the white color with a little bit of opacity in there. So that's good enough for what I need. Let me just turn that off. Save this. Save as. And we're going to be saving as a PNG file in the other folder to override the UI atlas.png. Alright, let's head back inside of the game. We're going to be modifying that UI atlas. So click on it, open in the sprite editor. And here is what we need. Now I already done mine before, but basically you just uh, take these value and you, you make sure to just, you know, cut that sprite. Alright, then you're going to hit apply and you should now have your new sprite. I'll take all of these buttons at once, chose my new sprite, which is this one, and this is what we're going to be using to actually uh, do the whole clicking stuff. So you're going to be clicking on these. Now it's really hard to see right here, so we'll be assigning colors to them. The first one being something really easy, so let's go with, say, a cyan like that would be easy. Now the medium gets a little bit harder, so we'll go with maybe yellow. And uh, hard would be something like red. And finally, insane. And you just give it your own insane color. Mine could be purple, it could be like a really darkish color. I'm thinking about purple. Something like this. All right. So that's going to work. Now the second thing I'd like to change today um, would be the splash screen and it appears at two places. Once in the share center and also once during the actual splash of the game. So up there. Now let me quickly think about a logo for this. <laughs> of course you should give this a lot more thought that, than I'm about to but um, it's really up to you to be honest. Alright so let's do it with something really simple. I just type in D tower but in text so maybe like this and then I'll duplicate that move that down type in tower and we'll try to make it look good <laughs> we'll try I really don't know what kind of color I'll be putting so maybe I'll just be putting the this first text as a grayish color and the other one as a bright white depending of course on the color palette of your game. 
Now I plan on remaking the whole game, uh, not the whole game, but the whole art stuff when I'm done, but at least now you know and uh, you have the tools to create your own art. So let's save this, go back inside of the uh, artwork folder, we're going to be uploading that to UI, UI Atlas, override the PNG file, and we can finally go back in our game and finally implement that little piece of uh, 2D art before we start jumping into the 3D pieces. So splash art is up here, we'll be enabling it, and let's find our splash art which is not there because we have not cut it yet, so on our UI Atlas we're going to open up the sprite editor, and here it is. So we know that this is, um, what size would that be? 256 plus 128, 384 by 256 and then we just match it right there and it should actually assume the right size. Click apply and we now have the latest art. <laughs> of course there's something wrong with the color here. I'll quickly go fix it. Alright so I've changed the color and I've also added a little stroke on my text just like I do in my thumbnails because why not? And here we go. Just the act of overriding this should actually fix it in the game right away. And <laughs> this is such bad art. Alright, let's move on to the actual menu scene. The splash screen is over here. We are going to just um, temporarily just remove that so we can actually see what's going on. The reset save confirmation. And on the splash, we're going to change it for our image then also remove the text in it. And for some reason it appears like that, but it is because we need to change the color over here and um, actually bump up the alpha. And we end up with a result that looks like that. Alright guys, let's quickly give this a try. And we do, we do have a uh, splash screen now, even though it looks really bad. It's there. Okay, and something we forgot to do, and uh, I just went over this a little bit too fast, is to actually add text in there, and also um, try to make this look a little bit better. So, we're going to go back inside of the hub really quickly. Under the UI root, turn off the share center, and we're going to be toggling the war table menu. Now, all of these, they can be using some text inside of them. So, I will right click on easy button, add some text. This is going to be, of course easy and we'll try to just center it and uh, I'll put it up there so pivot in the middle of there position in Y is gonna be say something like minus 800 or minus 50 I want this to assume the same width so I'll just be putting that here and as far as the height goes we'll just go with something like 50 crank up the size a little bit and here it is. Now we can be putting this on a white, I believe, and we'll be able to see it. Uh, okay, so it's a little bit hard to see. So what we'll do is actually swap this. The text is going to be at the bottom instead. So like this. And it's going to be back to black. Alright. With the new font, we can also be putting that here. And we're simply going to duplicate that in every single one of those buttons. So right about here, put that on 0, uh, position Y is on minus 50 I believe, or 50. Oh and for some reason it didn't, it didn't save the actual anchor position so we'll have to move that again. This is on minus 50, the height is also 50, or is it on 50, okay, like that. And uh, this would be medium. Now this doesn't fit so we'll just make it a little bit smaller. And next one, change the anchor, position 50, right is also 0, and uh, for some reason it, it does a little bit of bug here, so that's really annoying, but it does work either way. And um, what's the height again? Height is going to be 50, and this is going to be hard. Finally, we have insane which is definitely not at the right position right now, so we'll move it 0, 50, 0, and um, 50 again for the height. Insane. Alright, 
this is going to do the job just fine. What I feel like doing a little bit later on when we have our actual real enemies is like put the smallest enemy as a thumbnail over here, put the medium enemy over here, the hard enemy like a tough enemy on this one and then the insane. And when we uh, hover, hover over this with our cursor or mouse or when we click on it, they actually do a small animation and then we jump into the game. So something like that. That's what I feel like doing a little bit later on of course when we have some actual enemies. Alright guys, well that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. In the next one we're going to start modeling a little bit, so if you don't have Blender yet, you should get it right now because we are going to just uh, jump right into it. I won't really do an introduction to Blender, however I'll, I'll say my keybinds I'm using and we'll do some really simple modeling, but I don't want to spend like, you know, like a whole episode for this game's tutorial to explain Blender. Alright, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave me a like, really appreciate that and it helps out the channel a lot. And uh, if you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me. And I will see you guys in the next episode.